So uh, at the Bobbin Center in London and in West Kensington, um, my name is Mayuri Boonen and I'm here today with my Guruji. I'm thrilled to be here with him. Actually, it's uh, Guru Prakashya Dugude, um, right here next to me. And, um, and he's originally from Bangalore. Yeah. I'm trained in Bharatanatyam, so one of the things that, you know, well, I've studied under Guruji. So. so how long have you been here? 1984, I came here. And since then, I'm teaching here. In the beginning, I was performing many, many performances and things, and then now I more concentrating on teaching. So why did you come to England? They called me. They started a <laughs> Bharti Vidyabhava. They started a cultural wing, and then they wanted to teach full-time teachers. They called me from India. Before that, I was in Delhi. So I studied Kathak as well as Bhatanatyam. Bhatanatyam is my main subject, whereas Kathak I studied under Mayara. She is the disciple of Shambhu Maharaj. And why, what made you stay in England all this time? The teaching. The why? students. The dedicated students. If whatever we do, if we get back from them, it's a good idea to stay back and then teach. So how can you, comp how can you compare India and England in terms of the teaching of Bharatanatyam? It's, uh, it's quite dif different actually. In India, it is a systematic, long process there. In Britain, it is short process, and we need to uh, shortcut, make the shortcut, try to make it more attractive for the, and then at the same time we have to teach properly. So whatever we teach in India, we teach in a, a span of time instead of teaching. First Adu, second Adu, third Adu, four Adu, like that number number wise you do everything. After two years you start teaching dance. Instead of we teach a dance in a year, but we try to cover within three, four years, whatever you need to know. So the challenges are very different. Yeah, different. They the parents are not completely involved with the dance. They are going to the dance class. That's all the parents' families. Here they bring them in the morning. They take them back home, and it's, it's a more uh, you know, involvement, parent involvement is more than in India. Oh, I see. Okay. Especially when they after eight and when they come to the eleven plus exam, that's it. That time, nearly six months to uh, nine months, the children won't come to the class because they have to ready for the eleven plus. When they come to the GCSE again, there's a gap. When they come to the A level, gap. So that's how. They so you yourself as an artist and a teacher, how do you feel about this? It's good, but whenever they are here, they put full heart and they work very hard and rigorously. That's how the result comes to easily. That makes us more interesting. But you yourself, uh, do you not find that you miss that intensity that you could have in India with the students? They are giving the same intensity. So sometimes it's more than the, uh, in India how they are doing it. There it is, uh, for them it is more uh, easy because it's part of the culture. Culture means the dance is the mirror of culture. So they, every day they see the pujas, every day the parents talk in the same tone. In the school they will talk about it, they smile each other. Here, I, some of my students say this, I, in the school, we are not supposed to just smile. If, you, if somebody, the teachers see them in the corridor, they can't just smile, greet them. They just walk. That's it. And uh, one of the famous school, like Dalit school, uh, two, three students were there. They were staying like that. And whereas in India, even the stranger comes, they just show the little bit smile on their lips, as if they know them. Whether they know it or not, it doesn't matter. So it's a kind of English yeah. identity. Yeah. It's, though they are all, you know, brown, they are all Indians. They have more, uh, what is the influence of British culture because they are with the, with the, uh, you know, nearly, say, six, seven hours every day in the school. So that influence will be definitely be there. Here yeah, it's completely different. Weekends they come here, one hour, one hour, one and a half hours. We can't change their uh, emotional aspects and uh, culture. We try to do it at the Bhavan because 
we have pujas, we have like Rama, Rama Navami is there, Krishna, Krishna Jalmashtami is there, all the Indian main festivals you celebrate here. So we ask them to come and watch it, how we do it. We do the performance for them so that they have many opportunities to perform on the stage. Yeah. And um, you put a lot of students through the Aram mm -hmm. Yes. Do you find that the students here are more keen to do the Aram or those in India yes, more keen? Very keen to do it because they wanted to uh, take it very seriously about the art. There it is, uh, they are very serious. Only those who have money, those who have uh, want to show off, they do more. Not all of them do that and it. And it is not compulsory, either there or here. But at the Bhavan, what happens, we do the performances, many performances. It's not important they should do that and it. But if they want to study thoroughly, they will do that and it. Because nearly one year, they have to study themselves, dedicate completely themselves, work themselves and do it. It's not just come, spend one hour with me, perform on the stage, do an Aragatran. We don't believe in that. Like, you know, there's, there's one girl now with me. Uh, she's finished her economics degree and she's getting a job in next September. Now, till September, she comes here at 9 o'clock, finish 5 o'clock. She works. I do only 1%. The rest of the time they work. In, in that way, they will thoroughly start studying things. So nearly 4-5 hours, you can't just do one dance and go. It's quite boring for 9, nine months. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's important they should know the theory, practical, many dances, and try to experiment themselves, how to bring out the emotion, all these things. Like that, many girls I have. Some girls, they did, uh, they finished their medicine now. Well, when they come to the third year, they'll take one year off. They come here, one year they spend for dance. Then they go to the BAC there, and then they finish the medicine. Now they are doctors. Another girl, she was a GP. Before she finished her uh, GP training and getting a job, she finished her and then Because once if she gets into the job, you cannot, you know, she, she's a... Uh, uh, West Bengal girl. She spent that much of time instead because the language is also important, music is also important. So you cannot just come for one hour and learn music or language. A bit. We don't, we don't expect them to study uh, complete language or complete music. They should have a taste of it. Afterwards, if they want to take it to their professionals, like Mayuri is here. Nina is there, and uh, Rina is there, I think. So th there are other girls, they are taking it. And uh, Magdalene, Magdalene is still there, with, I think. Yeah. So they're all taking their, their own in a different, different course. Taking a dance is a profession. But it's only one or two percent, 98 percent, they go to the medicine, or solicitors, or other professions. Do you remember how many of your students here have done Arangitums? 70 plus, I think. So each year you would, out of 25, maybe about three Arangitums. One, year. two, three, depends on the girls. Mm -hmm. We expect them 15 plus minimum. Otherwise it's useless and a waste of time, waste of money. Because when they are 7, 8, 11, 13, they don't understand anything. They just come here, I teach one item, they present it. So I don't do, if they are 15 plus, it's all right. 18 is good. Below 30 is okay. After 30 is no. <laughs> because they have a lot of pressures in their mind. They cannot remember the sequences. It's, it's, again, the Rangetum is nearly two hours here to dance. The sequence, patterns, mathematical things, it should be sharp enough. Only the sharp girls or boys, they can take the dance. Everyone can dance. Have you had um, a lot of male dancers yeah. or not? I have, I have two good male dancers. And, uh, and one become an accountancy, another one in the university now, final year. My son also does. 
to see the family. In the beginning, we yeah, are going to perform a service. And then we do the, you know, we have a group here. That means we have Uku teacher, Shiva Shakti Shivanesan, Pridangam teacher, Balachanda, and violin, Balwaragaram, flute, everything we have. We check them and then go around the world and come back. It's like a family power. Mm -hmm. So we don't miss anything. It's not individual. We are not individually sit outside and teach and call the musicians when we want. It, it's something, it's family mm -hmm. So everyone are here only. We just take it and do it. That, so it is actually like an artist commune. Yeah. Very harmonious and very good relationship. So do you live on the premises? Next door. My house is there next door. Because you know, the students come from different, different timings. Mainly they come after four o'clock because school finishes. And we, at that time, I was doing till 10, 11 o'clock at night. Because the people coming from far away, from Kent, from Milton Keynes, and they're coming, they finish their class and come for nearly two, two hours to drive here, and then have one hour class and then go back again. So 8, 8 30, 9 o'clock, we finish officially, and then uh, sometimes we progress. So Bhavan is the place, they allow us, there is no problem. Otherwise it is impossible to teach or learn. Are you involved in um, creating a curriculum or choosing teachers for the bhavan? Say again? Are you involved in creating a curriculum or choosing teachers to come to the bhavan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have so much schools. We call the famous uh, exponent in Bhattanathya to teach three weeks in the bhavan. They will take the exam for the students. They will assess the grades for the students. So is it mainly Bhattanathya based? Well, for us, yeah, Bhattanathya. There is a Kata section, heavily involved with Kata. Hindustani, different. Carnatic music. So all famous, uh, noted people from different, different subjects, they will come here and teach during that last. So it's basically these forms of classical dance and music? Yeah. Only classical dance and music. South, South India and Latin do. And do you ever work together? Um, yes, sometimes, but most of the time we are all busy. It's difficult at the same time. You know, a lot of students coming weekends only. We cannot have less. If you have four or five students, there are chances of you know, mingle the Katak and Bhatnatyam or something else. But rarely we mix it. Mm. Very rarely. Because we, we have to denote that one and one hour, 45 minutes, each group. Afterwards, we can do work. But usually, I start at 9 o'clock, finish at 5 o'clock. By the time I get tired. <laughs> and then performances will be there in the evening. So we you have theater here, you see the theater. So you say you don't perform so much now? Uh, once in a year, yeah. Now we have a performance on 4th of December. All the students, they are raising funds for the students who are needed, needy in India. That's why our former director, Matuji, came here. He asked whether we can donate some money to uh, give the needy people in one of the schools. They don't have pencil, papers, and uniforms, or fees. So we thought we could do as much as possible. So all the students mingle together, they're raising the funds. We'll send all the donation goes to them, In, including we are not charging for the theatre also. Right, is, uh, Yuri, did you want to ask Guruji anything? Um, <laughs> no, 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 I just, you know, just, I, I've had the pleasure of seeing Guruji dance, okay. and I found his performances very inspirational. I still remember seeing him on that stage uh, with such dignity and restraint which I've seen him perform and I think I'm um, very lucky I think it'd be great if you were able to perform again <laughs> I think it would be wonderful uh, to see you perform again. A lot of students they're asking that you must do at least one or two. Incredible, yeah. It's, it's yeah. moving because you know that kind of restraint comes with so much I feel that you know you've really thought a lot about the five merchant and it comes across in his teaching 
and mm. you know there's a, there's a real beauty to it so I have and I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I saw that I've seen you dance <laughs> I'm the lucky few <laughs> <laughs> um, it's two years before I danced here afterwards I didn't do it was planning to do it but you need the physical strength it's a masculine dance male dancers we mm. don't do softer one yeah. for that you need to have a lot of energy in it because yeah. age also put you down. Otherwise, <laughs> 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 no problem at all. If I had the same youth how I was in 84, I would carry on. <laughs> no. Because I was doing, performing uh, three shows, three performances a day sometimes, especially in August, September, October, full, performing everywhere, all over North India. We have big group and of course we were coming out of the uh, India, we went to Southeast Asia, and Europe we came, Australia went, America went, different, different places we went. So now only it's not doing it. <laughs> and maybe it's too much work. <laughs> too much dance we have done, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just beginning to think about some of the teaching, like when I was studying with Guruji. And he'd tell me all these cryptic things, which I thought were cryptic. <laughs> he was saying, just look. I'm thinking, just look. And I'd be like thinking for, I don't know, several weeks, thinking, what does this just look mean? <laughs> you know, and, and it, you know, when that revelation happens, I find that many times you say something very simple. And I have to think about it and go away and think, what did you mean by this? You know, and I found that every time it opens a doorway, and it's always been meaningful to me. Yeah. Um, some direction or something like that that you've given, you know, in the car. And I find that it gives me a lot of time to go and think about it a lot, not that I have to go back and learn the same thing. And he, you have this thing, yeah, don't you, yeah. that he used to say, what's the point of me giving you all these sweet meats on a plate? You'll get indigestion similarly. <laughs> you won't be able to have the capacity to learn if I give you everything. So he's very, he's been very great at sort of it meeting. Takes little, little, little then you can expand it. Mm -hmm. If you take everything in one go, you may forget it. Mm -hmm. Like sharp learning, and if you come for one dance, you learn one dance. After a year, if I ask you, you don't know anything. If you have a good base, slowly get it. Later you can make the ground. If the ground is very good, you can build a big temple, so big buildings. Mm -hmm. If the ground is not good, it may collapse any time. Yeah. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think um, okay. I'll have to say thank you because yeah, we kept thank you.